Hi, it's Mimi. I'm first, and this is Let the Music Play. Today, I'm going to share with you the oh so intimate details about my debut solo album, The Fire. All right, now let the music play. The first single on the album is the title track, The Fire. I named the album and the song The Fire because it is a medium that can burn you or it can toughen you. It is a self-empowerment anthem for anyone out there who has gone through some really hard times and need to come out on the other side, rise from the ashes like a phoenix and be a better, more fabulous, more powerful version of yourself. These songs are done with all real instruments in a studio. It's part Green Day, part Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Rock and roll is rough around the edges. It's a uh, raw emotion, it's loud. It just is, it's unapologetic and that's how I try to live my life and I want to inspire other people to live their life the same way. There's a lot of people, especially uh, in the gay community who have been bullied or picked on. This song is about getting through those experiences and coming out even better on the other side. My favorite lyric on this song is, gotta burn, in return, you can rise from ashes. Because it tells you, yes, you do have to get burnt, yes, you do have to experience life, but when you do, you get to come out on the other side and you get to rise above it all. This music video is set in a post-apocalyptic world. There's fire everywhere. I'm walking through beautiful abandoned buildings covered in graffiti. The broken down buildings are a metaphor for our own lives. We are frequently having the world throwing shit at us and we have to remain standing tall. I look at this song as an anthem for all the shit I've been through and I hope that you do too. Up next, we have a cover of Wicked Little Town from my favorite rock musical, Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Hedwig and the Angry Inch and this song, Wicked Little Town, have very special meaning to me. When I was kicked out of my house for being gay and I was living on the streets, the only thing I had to my name was the clothes I was wearing, my backpack, and a Discman with the original cast recording of Hedwig and the Angry Inch. This album saved my life. So I wanted to record this song to pay homage to not only one of my favorite shows, but something that saved me in every way I needed to be saved at that point in my life. My favorite lyric from the song is, from the chorus, if you've got no other choice, you know you can follow my voice through the dark turns and noise of this wicked little town. That lyric, when I was all alone and didn't have anything or anyone in my life, it was a beacon to keep going that there was somebody on the other side saying, no, 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 come with me, I'll help you, and I'll get you through this experience. And that's what this song did for me. I wanted to include this song on the fire because I wanted to encourage all of you to find your own voice in your own wicked little towns. Lastly, we're gonna talk about the song Body Double. Being a drag queen, it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes when you're going city to city, you lose track of who you really are. When you are a public persona that is a completely fabricated, over-the-top, fabulous drag creation, you lose your own humanity a little bit. And I think this is a song that anyone who does drag or anyone who has a public self can identify with. The Fire is available on iTunes, Amazon, probably even Craigslist as far as I know. So click below to download these songs and more from my debut album, The Fire. Don't forget to subscribe to WOW Presents right now. Oh, and check out my channel too. It's fun. I'm on it. I'm here, I'm trying to get you to listen to my music. There's no songs about going to the club and all that. Did that. It's different.